Good morning, Franklin. Today we'll be playing one of my personal favorite games in our brand new segment, Never Have I Ever. And you'll get to hear what our principal has to say about what he's been seeing around the school in Keeping It Real with Schmidt. You don't want to miss it, so stay tuned. And your boy, the one and only, Kwame. Coming at you with a brand new episode of Want TV. Hey Vic, have you ever sent a text and regretted it immediately? No, never. Oh, yeah, sa same here. <laughs> yeah. Sure, Kwame. Okay, anyway, it's time for our brand new segment, Never Have I Ever. Let's see what you had to say, Franklin. Hey, it's your girl Jordan. Hey, it's your girl Brandy. Hi, my name is Madeline. Hi, my name is Kimura. And, and this, this is, is Never Have I Ever. Period. Never have I ever lied about a family issue as an excuse to get out of doing something. I have. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was for cheerleading. We had a game <laughs> Friday night, and I said that I had a wedding to go to. So, yeah. Yeah. Have I ever dine and dashed? I really haven't. I really haven't. It's just like, it's a difference. Like, cause like if you go to a store and you eat it, eat the food there, but don't pay for it, that's dining dash too? That's what it means. No, like, not, a, not, not like a restaurant. It's a restaurant and a store? Have I ever pressed send, then immediately you regretted it? All the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too many times. Have I ever worked with someone I hated with the burning passions of a thousand suns? I don't work at Panera Bread no more, so. You got fired. You got fired. No, you got fired. I quit. It's a difference. You got fired. Um, you put me in a group with people that I don't like, and I didn't have a choice, so it happens. <laughs> Eating food in the store before leaving is, in fact, a dine and dash. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> don't you just love Franklin? Yep. And Mr. Smeal loves it just as much as we do. But like all great things, there's always room for improvement. And he has a little something to say about what he's been seeing in the hallways and keeping it real with Smeal. Let's check it out. Hello, Warriors. Nice to see you again. This is your principal, Mr. Schmeal. And this is going to be the first of a series of segments that we're going to call Keeping It Real with Schmeal. Follow me. The first topic that I want to speak to you guys about is getting to class on time. One of the things that really bothers me is that you don't realize how being late every day to class hurts you academically and with your reputation. Every time you're five minutes late to class, you're missing what the key topics are of the lesson, what you're going to be learning. You might be missing what homework assignments are being expected to be done. And you don't realize it, but all of that adds up. Think about it. If you're late 20 times, five minutes late each time, you've lost 100 minutes of class time. And that is a lot of learning that you've lost. Now, I get it. Like, you want to see your friends. You want to see your boyfriend or girlfriend in the hallway. And we put a lot of rules on you. I, I understand that. But your main priority here is to get an education. And that's not gonna happen unless you're inside the classroom. I can't do it for you. The vice principals can't do it for you. The deans can't do it for you, nor can the safety officers or your teachers. You have to do it for yourself because you care about your education. So let's make an effort to know how to say goodbye to your friends when you hear that first tone. The first tone you hear is letting you know you only have one minute to get to class on time. By the time that bell rings, you should already be inside the classroom. When the bell rings, that shouldn't be a time to say, oh, oh, yes, now I got to get to class. No, you should be there already. 
be there, get settled in, build that reputation for being to class on time. You should never want to be late for class because it's your learning and you got to take charge of it. And that's our first installment of Keeping It Real with Shmeel. Have a great day. Mr. Schmiel, you may have a valid point. We might take a little bit too long in the hallways. <laughs> I, for one, am definitely guilty of that. So, let's get to work on getting in class before the bell, Franklin. Well, that's all we've got for you today, Franklin. Make sure you tune in next week for another amazing episode of Want TV. I was your host, Kwame. And I was your host, Victoria. We'll, we'll see, see you, you in, in the, the halls, Franklin. Franklin. Want TV was brought to you by Go Cafe. On Tuesday, March 19th, the guitar and orchestra students will be performing in the FHS cafeteria. Advanced ticket sales are $10 and $7 at the door with a Franklin student ID. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. and performances will begin at 6 p.m. 